Fulham nil, Burnley two at Craven Cottage, a result that sees Burnley headed for victory and Fulham, it seems, for the moment, heading to the Championship. Steve, what went wrong in that first half for Fulham? Burnley were, were good, but... Burnley, Burnley were very good. I mean, you look at Fulham, uh, slow in attack, uh, no real urgency. Been Mitrovic, I know the delivery to Mitrovic has been poor, but you haven't really seen him sort of in a 1v1 tussle. Um, it's been, a, it's been a poor 45 minutes and not one that would reflect the Scott Parker Fulham team. Mm. But the goal's preventable as well for you, Alan. Well, they are, but the performance has been dreadful, isn't it? As Steve said, going forward, there's been nothing. Mm. And when we analyse the goals that they've conceded, they could have been three down or four mm. down, really, yeah. with the chances created. And, you know, you can build yourself up for this big game like they have done and leave it all in the dressing room. And I think that's what they've done, Fulham. Anderson can't get... He's got to get tighter. He's got to show him do more to, to stop Vidra. And as we've seen, the ball goes over the top. He's got to get closer to him. OK, show him down the line, make him go down the line and then block the cross. Yeah. Give away a corner. The, the, the thing is, they look at the goal scorer, West, Westwood. You know, he's run past... He's run off Anguisa. He's run past Lamina. The referees run faster and run <laughs> yeah. past the Fulham yeah. recovering midfield. It's taken Robinson who's now covering from the other side to try and track mm. back. Where's the urgency for defending? You, know, mm. you, you want to score goals, but you've got to get back as well. And then, you know, again, you're playing into, uh, into Burnley's hands. Ben Mee must be licking his lips at this. This is bread and butter for him, look. Knocked down, and you've got to say, though, this is great play from Burnley. Up, back, through. Bit of link-up play, it's a good touch. I don't think it's the cleanest of strikes. He'll take it. But Chris Wood will take that. But look, no challenge. Ben Mee, the back, the back two for, for Burnley, have had no physicality, but this here, look, from behind the goal, always swerving away from Ariola, and Chris Wood is the man at the moment. Yeah, 8-8 eight eight for him now. And Alan, like we've been saying, it, it could have actually been yeah. worse for Fulham in that first half, considering well, it's a game that they, they can't lose and they need to win, in the words uh, of Scott Parker. Yeah, well, and Wood, Wood's recently scored a hat-trick at, at Wolves, could have had a hat-trick here tonight. And yeah. I said earlier that, you know, sometimes you can leave it in the dressing room. Mm. And, and obviously, the importance of the game, mm. you wouldn't have thought it when you see the performance for Fulham. But, you know, you build it up, you build it up, and then it's flat. And Burnley are well worth being two up. And as we said, could even be three or four. Yeah, yeah, so poor in a game that they can't lose in defence and a match that they need to win, like we say in the words of Scott Parker. So poor in attack too. It's, it's yeah. really poor, isn't well, it? Well, when you've got a Burnley team that's sitting with two banks of four, it has to be moved quick. And what's happened is, I mean, the, the crosses aren't coming quick enough, so Burnley can get back in numbers, but it's just the, the quality of the crosses as well. And you look at every cross that comes in, it's near enough. First contact is from a Burnley player. Now, yes, there's enough Fulham players in there as well as Burnley players, but there's no, there's no aerial jewels, the, the, the quality's not great, and it's kind of it's, it's percentage play. But mm. this is what they need to do, quick link-up play. Look how disorganised Burnley are. Yes, they get back in numbers, but it creates a chance for Fulham. And again, you know, when they're disjointed, they're in two banks of four there. Fulham, they find a bit of space with De Cordova Reed in the pocket, just in, in behind uh, the midfield four. Then they turn, then can they attack quick. But that's where they just lack that little bit of final quality and that's been full of downfall. Yeah, they need to score twice, Alan, in this second half, don't they? At least, what does he do? I think he'll make two or three changes now. Yeah? Yeah, I know you hear managers leave it for ten minutes. How can you leave that? Mm -hmm. That's just not good enough. He's lucky that there's no fans here. You know, perhaps, uh, as I said, it's, the game's just too big for him. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that Burnley, vastly experienced Premier League side, have took Fulham to the cleaners so far. Yeah, they've got it all to do, haven't they? They have, yeah, but you look at the bench, they've got Loftus-Cheek that someone's not fulfilled their potential this season. Madger's on the bench as well, so you need these players that are going to come on and make an impact. Yeah, they certainly do. OK, half-time then. And Burnley in command at Craven Cottage.